Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Carter. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to whistle with no fingers in your mouth and how to whistle loud with no fingers, oh, how to whistle loud with no fingers in your mouth. In a previous video, I have taught you how to whistle um, with your fing with four fingers here and two fingers here with a hand with one hand. Um, speaking about having your tongue down and with having your tongue folded over. In this video, we're just going to focus on no fingers with your tongue down or close to down. So your tongue position in this video is going to be. So you will put your tongue at the pretty far back in your mouth, but you want to kind of fold it over this way instead of folding it over that way, like curling it back. Instead of doing that, you want to fold it this way. So you're almost curling it over. Um, the placement is about right here. So that's like before the roots of my teeth, I think. Um, and you have like uh, in your mouth, there's a little, so it's a weird thing, like a little knob almost, and it kind of wiggles around. It's kind of connected to your tongue. And you basically want to put your tongue before that little knob. Um, I don't know if you can feel it yet, but you should be looking for that. And you'll, you're going to want to, when you whistle, you're probably eventually going to push past it a little bit, but your tongue should be generally in that area. The second part about your tongue is that instead of just having it like that, you're going to push forward with like the back of your tongue, I guess, and the rest of it. So it's, so it's going, to be, going to be like bunched up in the front of your mouth. So it'll look like this. From here, you can put your teeth onto your tongue. That, well, you want to line up your tongue with your teeth. So that's why you don't want to have your tongue out spread or even like, I don't think you can bring it much in, much more in, but well, I can't. Anyway, you want to have it lined up with your teeth and your teeth will bite down or press down onto your tongue where it lines up because further out on your when your teeth keep on going they will pass your your the position that your tongue has made so that looks like this and you see it leaves a little gap in between my top tooth teeth and my like where my tongue would have been i guess um so your bottom lip is going to be just over your um, bottom teeth. It will be it will look like this. And you don't want to put it here. You don't want to put it here. Just to show her. Um, it's a pretty easy part, so shouldn't be too bad. Your top teeth or your um, yeah, your top teeth and your top lip is where it gets a little different you actually don't have to cover your teeth at all with your with your top lip your upper lip because that's where like the air is going to be cutting cutting it down like sh shutting the little area off um but you can also cover the lip or cover the teeth with your lip so something like that would look like this and then without it it would be like so it kind of works either way it might not work depending on what your teeth look like for example and then the next part is about how you or more how you don't blow out um, the air. So it's not like you're gonna blow out a candle. So it's not gonna be like a or a whistle. Like. It's definitely, or it's more like a like 
I don't have a good word to describe it, but you can kind of just hear it. It's like a, oh. really, like I said, I don't have a good word to describe it. Um, and you don't have to blow very, or exhale, that's a good word, exhale very hard f to make a, a loud or sharp sound. Um, that's something you can hear people do when they like are trying to whistle, like they'll go and they just as hard as they can, it's just not really working. But um, you want to like a, this sound here, basically, it's really just a little exhale or like a heavier exhale, I'd say. Um, so that's kind of the basic of the um whistle. You've all you always want to keep it tight, like inside your mouth, just more push things inward and then close them down. Um if you've ever seen Wally where like they um take the trash and they squeeze it together, they then compress it. That's almost what it is. Um, because you're just leaving that one little space open. The hardest part of this is um, keeping your tongue in the same area. So your tongue is, isn't is really used to um, holding this position. So like while blowing out too, it takes a while for like the muscle to be trained to hold that and to be strong enough to hold that. So it does take some time to get this whistle. I have um, some friends who can do it too. And it's taken them like three years, two years. It took me about two years to get the sound out before. Um, but yeah, I'd say keep trying if you really want to get this. Maybe if you are new to whistling, try to do the um, this one first with the tongue down. This is pretty similar. It's just... A little different um and yeah um yeah so that's just about it i mean annoy your friends if you're gonna do it have fun with it do it with a person who's also oh, trying to get it it makes it a little less embarrassing when you try it and then someone else tries it too um but yeah i'd say good luck with it have fun and peace out until next time.